In today's video, we'll be diving into Excel and exploring the top 10 formulas every beginner should know. First up is the sum formula. It's one of the most basic yet powerful formulas in Excel. The sum function allows you to add up a range of numbers quickly. Here's how it works. Let's say you have a column of numbers in cells, A1 to A10. Simply type equal sign sum A1 to 10 and hit enter. Excel will instantly add up all the numbers in that range. This is extremely useful for summing totals, such as sales figures or expenses. Next is the average formula. This function calculates the average of a group of numbers, which is great for finding the mean of data sets like grades or sales figures. To use it, type equal sign average A1 a 10 in the cell where you want the result. This will calculate the average value of the numbers in cells A1 to A10. It's a simple but effective way to get insights from your data. Now, let's move on to a slightly more advanced formula, blue cup. This function is invaluable when you need to search for a specific value in a large data set. Imagine you want to use VLOOKUP to match an ID from a data table to a corresponding description in a lookup table. You can use VLOOKUP like this. Click on the cell in the data table where you want the description to appear. For example, if you want the description to appear in column D next to each name, click on D2. Type the following formula into the selected cell. Equal sign VLOOKUP A2 E2, F11, 2, false, A2, the lookup value, ID, that you want to find in the lookup table. E2, F11, the range of cells containing the lookup table. 2, the column number in the lookup table from which to retrieve the value. Since description is in the second column of the lookup table, you use 2. False specifies that you want an exact match. If an exact match is not found, VLOOKUP returns an error. After entering the formula, press Enter. You should see the description corresponding to the ID in A, 2. Drag the fill handle, a small square, at the bottom right corner of the selected cell down the column to apply the formula to other cells. The IF statement is a powerful formula that allows you to make logical comparisons. It checks whether a condition is true or false, and then returns one value if true and another if false. For example, if you're working with a list of exam scores, you can use the IF function to determine whether a student has passed or failed. Type equal sign IF B2 equal sign 60 pass fail. To check if the score in B2 is 60 or above, if it is, the cell will display pass, otherwise it will show fail. This formula is great for making quick decisions based on data. Let's move on to the concatenate formula, which is now replaced by the text join, and, and operators in newer versions of Excel. This formula combines text from multiple cells into one. If you have a first name in column A and a last name in column B, you can combine them into one cell using equal sign concatenate, A2, B2. This is especially useful when dealing with large data sets where you need to merge information. The COUNTIF formula is perfect for counting the number of cells that meet a specific condition. For instance, you can use it to count how many times a particular item appears in a list. To count how many times laptop appears in the list, type equal sign COUNTIF B2 B11 laptop. This function is very useful for quickly analyzing large amounts of data. Next, we have the MAX and MIN formulas. These functions help you find the highest and lowest values in a range. For example, equal sign max A2, A11 will give you the highest value in the range A2 to A11, while equal sign min B2, B11 will give you the lowest. These formulas are particularly handy for identifying extremes in your data. The len formula is used to count the number of characters in a text string. This includes spaces, punctuation, and numbers. Let's say you want to know the length of the text in cell A1. Type equal sign len A1 and Excel will return the total number of characters. This is useful for tasks like preparing data for import into other software or checking text limits. Let's not forget about the today and now functions, which are useful for working with dates and times. These formulas automatically return the current date or date and time. If you type equal sign today in a cell, it will display today's date. Equal sign now 
will give you the current date and time. These formulas are dynamic, meaning they update every time you open the workbook. Finally, the trim function is a lifesaver when dealing with messy data. It removes any extra spaces from text, leaving just a single space between words. To clean up text in cell A1, type equal sign trim A1. This will get rid of any unwanted spaces, making your data cleaner and easier to work with. Thank you for watching. I hope these Excel formulas help you become more efficient in your work. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials.